Hey guys, today we have a special treat for you. Behold, BenQ X3000i 4K projector. This little beast has a great potential to take your home theater and gaming experience to a whole new level. We've spent some serious time with it and are ready to share our thoughts. Let's check it out. Starting off with the design, X3000i features a sleek, modern look with a compact form factor. The exterior is primarily finished in a matte silver hue, complemented with a red accent and black front panel, which seems like a weird choice at first. But from the practical perspective, black is a good choice for avoiding distracting reflections during projection. And the lens itself is housed within a circular frame, adding a futuristic appeal to its design. Our unit is not new, and as you can see, over time some dust gets in there behind the glass. We didn't notice any impact to the picture quality, but it's worth mentioning. Once unboxed, the X3000i proved to be remarkably user-friendly. Turn it on and you're greeted by Android TV ready for action. Just ensure you're running the latest updates, and then you can easily log into all your favorite streaming platforms. In terms of physical setup, it's pretty straightforward. You can conveniently position it on the tabletop and tweak the angle using the feet. However, we found the angle adjustment is slightly limited for our setup. We had to get a bit creative with everyday items to achieve the perfect angle for our wall projection. Bear in mind a couple of things. This isn't the quietest machine, producing a mild hum during operation. The sound isn't overly loud, but if you're seated nearby, it'll be noticeable. Additionally, the exterior casing can heat up during use, so if you have curious kids or pets at home, be mindful of that. Now onto the heart of the matter, the video performance. The X3000i delivers an impressive 4K visual experience. We put it through the test with grueling Game of Thrones marathon and it performed flawlessly from start to finish, proving its reliability and consistency. However, despite being a bright projector, it works best in a dark room. Too much ambient light can make things look a bit faded. While the HDR feature improves the contrast, it may not match the performance of some high-end projectors and certainly not of older displays, occasionally resulting in loss of finer dark details. However, when the setup is in the right environment, the projector's performance is akin to watching a movie on a gigantic TV screen. The level of detail it produces, particularly in the darker scenes, is truly impressive. This significantly improves the viewing experience, especially in high contrast dark scenes where even subtle details can dramatically enhance the viewer's immersion. The high lumen output of BenQ X3000i makes it a formidable contender in terms of brightness, maintaining image clarity and detail. However, it is essential to note that the image quality is influenced by the source. If the original video has low contrast or black levels, the projector cannot compensate for that. Therefore, while X3000i boasts many impressive features, it does have its limitations, and the overall viewing experience will vary depending on the circumstances. For gaming enthusiasts, BenQ's recommended gaming settings available on their website can optimize the projector for an immersive gaming experience, and there are a lot of games to choose from. I may have spent an unreasonable amount of time testing the projector while playing Diablo 4, for scientific reasons, of course. I was actually using our recently built SFF gaming PC with RTX 4070, and it drives this game perfectly at 4K, but you can do very well with game consoles too. There is just something about playing games on a screen that is the size of the whole wall while lounging on a couch. It doesn't really matter what game you're playing, it could be an RPG, racing game, or whatever else. With this 4K projector, everything feels just larger than life. Also, there is an added benefit. If you ever get upset and throw your controller, you will not break your TV. However, with that being said, it's not all perfect. We did encounter an audio sync issue when connecting to our soundbar via Bluetooth. More on that in a bit. In terms of audio, the X3000i features built-in speakers. Although they perform satisfactorily, their placement on the projector can lead to slight disconnect between the sound and the viewing experience. Having the projection in front of you and hearing the things behind isn't great. Considering the price point, you might want to invest in a dedicated sound system for the whole package experience. We we'll suggest using a system which supports HDMI IRC for sound, but remember if you're planning to mount this machine on a ceiling, you'll need a lengthy, possibly higher end HDMI cable. If you prefer Bluetooth, ensure your input device can synchronize audio and video. In our experience when using a PC with VLC enabled, we managed to sync it perfectly with minus 350 millisecond delay on the standard mode. But remember, different projector modes have different latency, so play around and see what works for you. 
On the other hand, if you're using built-in apps, then you'll have some issues outputting via Bluetooth, as the projector itself does not support any manual sync adjustments. As for the physical attributes, the projector does come with a zoom and manual focus controls located on the side. It's not a problem if the unit is desk mounted, but the remote control of these settings would have been a valuable addition for ceiling mounted setups. Connection wise, there are three HDMI 2.0B ports, two of them are exposed at the back and one is internal where the Android TV dongle is fitted. I wish BenQ allowed users to use third party dongles here, since there is already power source, but alas, it's locked down to BenQ stick. To be fair, the amount of space inside there is very limited, and you can use one of the existing ports on the back if needed. At the back, there is also USB Type A port, which supports 2.5 amps, as well as RS232 and DC 12 volt trigger connection. I did try to use the USB to run videos from the external USB drive, and unfortunately, it did not show up, but your mileage may vary. Though BenQ X3000i packs a decent punch in its performance, there's always some room left to step it up a notch. One area where it could use a bit of tweak is how it deals with high contrast dark scenes. Don't get me wrong, it is pretty solid, but a bit more fine tuning, especially in the black levels, could make it even better. Another common projector hiccup it hasn't completely dodged is how it handles ambient light. But hey, these are the usual projector challenges, and a solid projection surface can help you up your game massively. In our case, we tested it on a basic white wall, and honestly, it already put up a hell of a show. Lastly, if there was one thing to nitpick, it would be the absence of the remote controls for zoom and focus settings, which may be a bit of a letdown for people who want to mount it on the ceiling. Incorporating the remote access to these settings would seriously up the convenience when setting up in the future models. All in all, the BenQ X3000i 4K projector does an outstanding job balancing high-end features and performance in a compact form factor. Just like any projector, you will need to have the right environment and the right screen to get the most out of the experience, and it's going to cost more money, so don't get fooled by the initial price. Regardless of this, I very much enjoyed consuming content and playing games on this. Which reminds me, I need to do some more science. Uh, I hope you found this useful, the links are in the description, thumbs up, subscribe, and see ya.